after the election of Jimmy Carter, <coughs> the Honorable Coleman Alexander Young, he went to Washington, D.C. He came back home with some bacon. Right. That's what you do. That's what you do. This is a, the, the, our people, in an overwhelming way, supported the re-election of this president. And there ought to be a quid pro quo, and you ought to exercise leadership on that. Of course, not just that, but why not? That was Detroit Councilwoman Joanne Watson calling for a bailout of the cash-strapped city after 73% of voters in Wayne County, which includes Detroit, pulled the lever for President Obama in November. That video is going viral, and now so is the reaction. We couldn't get the Councilwoman on, but we did get Michelle Fields, who says get ready for more of this. Michelle, I just need to point out the absolute stark contrast between Mr. Scott McGrath, who we saw on Staten Island, just trying standing in front of his home, making sure no one steals his generator so he can stay warm. And this councilwoman who is concerned about uh, she voted for President Obama, where's her bailout? <laughs> this is crazy. You don't get preferential treatment just because you voted for Obama. Look, Detroit right now, what they need is real new leadership. What they don't need is more money going to politicians who are completely incompetent. Taxpayers should not have to get into tens of billions of dollars more in debt, have more losses just because politicians in Detroit can't balance the budget, they can't plan ahead. And let me remind you that we're still, the taxpayers are still owed $25 billion from the auto industry bailout. There's no reason why we should be giving them more money. Right. Michelle, you, you, have, to, you have to ask yourself, uh, again, we would love to have asked the councilwoman herself, but she wouldn't come on, but you have to ask yourself if, um, if you don't like what's been going on. Detroit has a median, median household income of $25,000, far below the national average. It has unemployment of 18.9%, far above the national average. If you didn't like that, why'd you vote for the guy again? No, exactly. And look, all the Democratic politicians over there in Detroit and all the unions are really the ones who are blocking real reform from happening in Detroit. What they ought to be doing right now is selling off assets so they can get revenue. They should be uh, outsourcing uh, to private companies so that they can, they can have money. That's what they need right now. And what's kind of funny in all of this is that Mitt Romney got a lot of flack after the election when he said that he felt that Obama won the election because Obama promised American voters gifts and free things and he got a lot of flack from both Democrats and Republicans well look this is exactly what Mitt Romney's talking about here's someone saying hey I voted for you Obama now give me the free stuff this is exactly what Mitt Romney was talking about you know Michelle President Obama ran this last campaign on things are getting better give me four more years <laughs> we're almost there things are getting a lot better yes. Meanwhile, a very good indicator of things are really getting better in the economy is food stamp usage. Food stamps are up to a record level. November showed 46 million people on food stamps. If things are getting better, how does that keep going up? Exactly. And if you remember back during the uh, campaign, Obama was going around bragging, saying, I saved Detroit with the bailout. Really? You saved Detroit? Is that why Detroit is coming begging right now for money? I mean, it's absolutely insane. He has, he's completely out of touch. He doesn't realize what this economy is like right now for everyday folks. All right. Um, Michelle, thank you so much. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thanks, Michelle.